I don't know. I, it's the excitement of traveling here, like knowing you're guaranteed good food. Like. Good? Yeah. Every time I forget how good it is, when I come again, it blows me out of the water. Glad you're with me. Cheers, everybody. The weekend is here. It's time to find something interesting. Luckily, I live in Daejeon, located in the center of South Korea and the main train hub for the entire country. My main mission today is to shoot some footage at a hundred year old noodle shop in Pyeongtaek. And since one of the best Korean Chinese places in the country happens to be close by, I thought I would grab lunch here as well. Since it's close by, I thought why the hell not meet my buddy Mike for dinner in Cheonan for one of the best Gabi restaurants in the world. Let's get to it. Early and I'm at Daejeon Station. My destination is Pyeongtaek, a small city just south of Seoul, most famous for having one of the largest US military bases. Now, Korea has a few train options, with the fastest being KTX, but to reach some of the smaller cities, you have to take what's called a Mugungwa train. Basically, Korea repurposes the slower trains to make more stops at less popular destinations. My train today will be just 50 minutes and cost Ochanwan, or around 4 US dollars. So, I just got off at Pyeongtaek station, and I'm walking to the Chinese restaurant right now. It's really freaking hot. Some dude with a four-wheeler just coming through. So I love it. Anyway, I'm here super early. I heard there's like a line that forms, especially on the weekends. Alright guys, this is the reality of searching for Nopo Machip. This happens way more than you think. I came all the way to Pyeongtaek from Daejeon today, got on the train, and lo and behold, they are closed this week for a summer break. Honestly, I appreciate that. They need a break. It's no big deal. I do, however, wish they would just post it on Naver so people traveling don't, uh, <laughs> don't come all the way here. But um, I am still gonna go to the noodle shop and then maybe take a look at some backup places. We'll see if we can find some good food somewhere. It's just part of uh, traveling around Korea and eating at the older places. But we are by Tongbok Market, Tongbok Shijang, so maybe there's something we could find here. Honestly, this happens a lot in Korea. If you're going to an old mom and pop, it's always best to call ahead just to see if they're open. But this market is beautiful. I'm excited to check out the noodle shop, and I've already got a backup plan for lunch. Despite my disappointment about the Chinese restaurant, the Myeon factory, the noodle factory, did not disappoint. The owner was so kind. She didn't want to be filmed, which I understand, but um, I, or, I uh, bought some of the udon, which I had in Busan, and she didn't let me leave with just udon. She started giving me chonjiguksu, um, some extra noodles that she wanted me to try. So I've got a ton of noodles. I only paid chilchan one for the udon, and I tried to pay for the extra noodles, but she insisted I take it as a gift, so. Orim Chaemyeon in Pyeongtaek, you guys gotta come here, give them some love. They deserve it. It's a very kind place. This place has been around for over a hundred years and uh, I'm surprised more people aren't buying noodles from them. So anyways, this is not the last time I'm gonna come here. This is amazing. So I've been doing some research and apparently, luckily, Pyeongtaek is very famous for a lot of great Chinese food restaurants. Walking around this market, I can tell there's a lot of Chinese marts, I'm not sure I'll have to do some research about the history here, but that means I'm gonna go try another Chinese place. I really want Jajangmyeon today. Let's go see if they're open. And um, it looks legit, it looks good. So 
she's making my ganjajang right now and the smell is so intense. This is a really tiny shop. I love the vibe here. I love that the sajunim is like this husband and wife. Um, it's like a really low brown, no chip. The whole place smells this like intense, dark soy sauce smell. And I think this might be some really special ganjajang. So I saw gajajang on the menu and of course I had to order some tansu to go along with it. So jajangmyeon is basically black bean noodles where the sauce is boiled for a long time in a pot. But ganjajang is when the vegetables and black bean sauce are stir fried to order. The taste is deep and rich like a soy sauce garlic bomb. And if you don't know, tangsuyuk is sweet and sour pork, the perfect combo. Usually the pork is a little bit chewy. You can tell this is high quality pork. It's super, super soft. Mm. This is incredible. Mm. Mm. Dude, every bite is so satisfying. Not the like deep, Gosuhan from the ganjajang, the sweet from the sweet sour pork. This is amazing, amazing food. Honestly, that lunch was amazing. I feel great. Um, so now I'm gonna head back to Pyeongtaek Station and I'm gonna go take the subway down to Cheonan. Yeah, I'm gonna go find a cafe to hang out. I'll do some editing of my YouTube channel. Um, hopefully. I'll get some progress done over some coffee and I'm meeting Mike for dinner around 5. Anyways, despite the slight hiccup, I would say Pyeongtaek was a success. Yeah, this is one of my favorite cafes in Cheonan. Every time I come eat Gaobi, I usually stop here, get some coffee, wait on Mike. So. fan and I recently did a video with the Hanoi Eagles baseball player so he recognized me from my YouTube channel and he just gave me what is like looks like the most ridiculous looking dessert it's Spanish ham wrapped in wrap, ice cream wrapped Spanish ham on a croissant with olive oil and black pepper honestly this looks amazing <laughs> Oh my goodness. Dude, ham and ice cream. This is the first time I've ever done that. It's so good. It's like salted. Salted vanilla ice cream. Mm. 
Dude, the ice cream with the black pepper and the olive oil. All right, so Mike is almost here. I'm super excited. I'm quite tired though. I've been going hard all day and it's very, very hot. But I'm excited because I'm going to my favorite Galbi house. This place is near and dear to my heart. Even though it's not in Dijon, I'm a regular here. I'm so excited to go. What's up, Mike? How's it going, man? Dude, good to see you. Oh, I'm tired, man. <laughs> I've been going all day. The cafe I went to, they so they knew my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and they gave me a, a free dessert, mm. ice cream and waffles. <laughs> Dude, I'm ready for this, but I got. I guess you can't eat. Uh, if I drink beer, it'll be all right. I think. I can definitely. Eat Yeah, man, let's go. I'm super excited. Sok Sanjong in Chonan has the best Duechikabi on the planet. I'll stand by that. They have amazing banchan. What else is amazing here is their grill. I've never seen a style like this. Basically, their grill has a moat, which you fill with this soy ginger magic secret sauce. Then you cut all the ribs and put them in the moat. So it's basically braising the entire time you're eating Korean barbecue. All those fat drippings from your meat fall into the moat and the ribs braise for maybe an hour as you're eating. Of course, you can throw garlic in there to add more flavor. But anyways, I think you can see what's coming. The end of this meal is truly special. Oh, here we are again. Heaven on Earth. Sok Sanjong Gaeri, baby. Every time I forget how good it is, and I come again, and it blows me out of the water. Dude, this is my friend here, man. It is, man. This is, dude, this Gabi is so freaking good. I love that every time I can count on Mike to meet me here. It's great. The atmosphere, I mean obviously it's like the sauce, the side dishes. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can get this like probably somewhere in Suwon or something like that. In Seoul, right? Something similar or yeah. you know. I don't know. I, it's the excitement of Traveling here, like knowing you're guaranteed good food, like, like you, you know what you're getting into. Ningyan is essential with Gabi. However, it is the best combo. However, I've had much better Ningyan. You know what I mean? I wanna, not, I wanna try it with like beef. Um, yeah, it would be. You take the gabi and you just like fucking wrap it with those noodles. Mm. Yeah, man. Focus there. Alright, Mike. 
on for this restaurant. Yeah, this is fantastic. Amazing Gabi, amazing Chinese food. It was awesome to see that old noodle shop and uh, fostering that um, relationship. I'm hoping next time I go there, I can call ahead of time and see actually how they make the noodles. Heading back to Daejeon now. It was a good day.